Hi, my name's Alex. I'm the product training manager for Sony Ericsson, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Active Sync Exchange on your Sony Ericsson handset. Today I'm going to use the W995. Firstly, what you have to check is that you have the correct details from your email account, and that will be the server address and the domain name. When you have that information, you then go from the menu down to settings, then down to connectivity, and inside there you'll find synchronization. And inside there you should already see Orange Sync if there's an Orange branded handset. In this case we want to add a new account. The new account type is an Exchange Active Sync account. And this you need to name the account, in which case I'm going to call this one Work. Then you have to enter the details of the account. First of all, as recorded from the email company, it's the server address, which I'm going to put in an example just now. and then the domain name, again, an example. The next two sections should be the information you already have, which is your username and your password. Once they are confirmed, the extra elements to the options on this are applications, so your email, whether you want to synchronize that, the calendar, and your contacts. Then you have the email detail itself, the message size, how big you want the email to come through whether you want to actually download attachments or not, the date range in which to go back from, the actual sent email address detail, and the email signature itself, which you can then change. You can also look at how far you would like the calendar to go back, whether that's from two weeks or all the way back to when the calendar started. And finally, you also have the option to turn push on and off. This gives you the ability to have emails sent straight through to the handset without having to log online and check. Once this is complete, you then hit save. You'll have the option of deleting the contacts in the calendar already in the handset, in which case I'm going to say no. Once you've done this, the account is then set up. From here, in the options, you can check the status of it if it's already set up to push. But more importantly, you press the start button and that will then actually start to download and synchronise your account. When the synchronisation is complete, it will then let you know if you've actually received any emails, in which case you can come back out of the synchronisation options and go up into your messaging accounts. Inside there you'll find email and then your inbox. And from there, you can then read, reply or send any emails you like. Thanks for watching and look out for some more W995 tips.